Welcome to RX Strength Session. Again, today's session is designed to optimize strength and hypertrophy gain. So again, essentially build some muscle, get a little bit stronger, and hopefully improve some life, okay? So again, we'll start with a warm-up, and then we'll get into the session at hand. So again, let's lay on our back. Let's get the hamstrings moving. So again, extending at the knee and flexing. Again, keeping that heel towards the ceiling, keeping them toes drawn back up towards your shin. Once you're in six on one side, do six on the other. There we go. From there, we're going to go around, lay onto our front into a prone position. Bring your hands out to the side, thumbs facing up towards the ceiling. We're just going to squeeze the shoulder blades together. Do six of these. Once you've done six of them, you're going to go up into hands and knees, knees under hips, hands under shoulders, go hand on the back of the head, it's going to rotate in and out, four on one side, four on the other. Once you've done that, we're going to go up into a press-up position, or you can stay on the knees like so, and you're going to do shoulder taps, four each side. From there, you're going to go split stance position. So it's going to kneel on the towel like so. Squeeze the glutes. Keep the glutes squeezed the whole time. Shift the weight forward, raising that hand up. My left leg's forward, so I'm raising that right hand up as I shift the weight forward. Again, four of them. And then four on the other side. Once you have four on both sides, if you've got resistance bands, use some resistance bands now. So again, I'm using the mini bands. I'm gonna put a nice heavy one just above the knees. I'm gonna put a lighter one just around the ankles. If you haven't got these, I want you to go down to the floor into a glute bridge position. It's just gonna look like so. Heels into the ground, toes pointed up. If you have got these, I want you to go into this position, squat down, drop the knee in and out. I want you to do 12 on this side, 12 on the other side, and then do 12 together. If you're doing that glute bridge position, I want you to give me 20 glute bridges. I want you to push your hips up towards the ceiling, squeezing the glutes 20 times. For the people that have got the bands, guys, I just want you to get them glutes working. Again, okay, we're looking for 12 on one side, 12 on the other. Again, okay, keeping that foot flat on the floor, Okay, once you have 12 on both sides, it's 12 together. Okay, if you're doing them glute bridges, keep pushing them hips up towards the ceiling. Squeeze them glutes. Once you've done that, take the bands off. We're going to go three each side, and we're going to go squat down, grab the knee, extend up, then extend that leg back. Again, kicking that heel towards the wall, Keeping them toes pointed down towards the ground. Again, three on one side, three on the other. Again, nice and controlled. Don't rush through these. Make sure you're keeping your balance the whole time. Once you've done that, squat down, grab the ankle, and extend up. Again, three on one side, three on the other, alternating like so. Once you're in that, six drop squats, nice and quick, nice and light on the feet. And once you've done that, we're going to go to two inch runs. So yeah, I'm going to go feet narrow. When I say go, you're going to drop squat out. When I say go again, you're going to go fast feet, slow hands. Okay, so get yourself ready. Start with narrow feet. Go. Go. And rest it there. Okay, shift that in the quads. Heart rate should be up now. Should feel warm. We'll do that one more time though. 
Okay, so you got feet now. Go. Go. Get nice and light on the feet. And rest it there. Okay, so we're going to do lower body followed by upper body and then a core exercise. I'm going to do two circuits. So the first exercise is going to be a split squat with 1.5 rep. So 1.5 rep is simply come down to a split stance position, knee under the hip, knee over the ankle, extend up, go down, halfway up, back down, all the way up. That is your one and a half rep. And I want you to do 10 of them each side. So down, halfway up, back down, all the way up. I don't want bouncing. I want it nice and controlled. 10 on each side. From there, you're going to go into bent over row. So you can use water bottles, push them hips back, keep them shins vertical, pull it in. Again, if you've got dumbbells or kettlebells, do it the same way. You can pick up your bag, or again, you can use resistance bands. So if you're using a resistance band, stand on it, and then do 12 bent over rows. From there, we're going to go into Russian twists, okay? But we're going to go hands out straight. That's just going to take the weight away from the center of mass, make it a little bit harder, make you stabilize a little bit more. So again, feet on the floor to make it easier, feet up to make it harder. Extend it out, rotate round. Again, you want to make it harder when you're using water bottles. Hold two of them together like so. Add a little bit more weight. And I want six each side. That's the first circuit right there. So, when you're ready, get hold of whatever you're going to use for your split squats. And let's get going. So again, down into that split stance position, we're looking for ten. Going in three, two, one, let's go. So again, down, halfway up, back down, all the way up is one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good, keep going. Push on that front leg. Two more for me. Again, go at your own pace. Again, if you can't do the 10 reps, that's absolutely fine. Once you're done, 10 each side, swap sides. Again, down halfway. So down, up halfway, back down, all the way up. Again, use that front leg. Good, keep going. Keep pushing through. Once you're done with 10 reps, we're going into that bent over row position. So you're just going to use the resistance band. I'm looking for 12 reps. When you're ready, let's go. Again, squeeze them shoulder blades together. Once you've done your 12 reps, we're going to that Russian twist. So you're going to for six reps each side. Arms out straight. Rotate round. Keep your head looking forward. Really get a rotation up the top. So you really move the shoulders round. Push only six each side, rest it there. 45 seconds to a minute rest, then we go around again. Again, that 1.5 rep is an absolute killer. It makes the lightest of loads feel heavier. So again, well, just when you think your weights are maybe getting a bit too light for you, Adding that half rep, it's like they're new weights, heavier weights. So 
So again, just over halfway on the rest. Get myself ready to go again. Then take longer rest if you need to. Don't just go because I say go. Okay, get yourself down to that position when you're ready. So, into that split stance position, take yourself up. We're going in three, two, one. Let's go. Again, remember that half rep. Again, nice and controlled. Again, pushing on that front leg. Don't push into the toes. The weight should be evenly distributed on that front leg. Good, keep it pushing, keep going. Again, drop the weights whenever you need to make it lighter, that's absolutely fine. And again, if you wanted to do five half reps, and then do five normal reps, that's fine. Again, once you've done 10 on one, do 10 on the other. Two more. Once you're on that, into that bent over row. Now we're going to use resistance band again. Whenever you're ready, move round. We're looking for 12 reps. Again, keep them shins vertical, push them hips back. Good, once you've done 12 of them, we're going down to that Russian twist. So again, when you're ready, go feet off the floor to make it harder. Feet on the floor to make it easier. Again, six on one side, six on the other. And rest it there. Again, 45 seconds to a minute rest. We'll do that one more time round. You can grab a drink when you need it. Like I said, I think it's a habit for me now just to take it whenever I'm resting. Just builds my time or something. Okay, so you're about 30 seconds left from the rest. You can use this time to just sit down. Again, you can do some stretching if you want. It's absolutely fine. So you can go through this movement if you want and just do that whilst you're resting. Again, choose whatever you want to do. Again, I just, I just like to sort of sit down, stand here, actually use the rest time not to do anything really. Okay, I've got about 10 seconds. So I'll get myself ready to go again. Okay, we've got one more time round on this one. Okay, so when you're ready, just get yourself down to that split stance position. We're then going to take it up. Go on in three, two, one. Let's go. So again, remember that half rep if you can. Last time round. Three. Five. Eight, nine, ten. Again, swap sides. Get yourself set. Take it up. Go from there. Two, four, six. Eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's getting them legs. <sighs> Get that time under tension by adding in that half rep. 
Not letting that muscle relax. Okay, when you're ready, into that bent over row. Whenever you're ready, go. Once you've done your 12 reps on them, grab your weights, Russian twists. So whenever you're ready, go feet on the floor to make it easier, feet up to make it harder. Again, bring the weights in to make it easier. And ah, rest of that. When you're only six reps, have a rest. Whilst you're resting, I'm going to go through the next circuit. Okay, so next one we're going to do Romanian deadlifts. We're going to do 12 of them. Then we're going to do a 15 to 20 second hold. So again, with the hold, I'd recommend using water bottles because obviously with the resistance band, you put it up, more tension. As you lower it, the tension goes off. So again, holding it here, there's not going to be a lot of resistance in that band. So again, grab your weights, put your bottles into a bag, make it heavier, it's up to you. Again, you're going to do 12 reps, push them hips back, keep the shins vertical on that 12th one, hold it 15 to 20 seconds. So it's one, two, three. Slow counting, no fast counting. Then when you go into press ups, 10 press ups. So again, the variation can just be normal, half reps, slow down, drop to the knees, push back up, then extend. You can go to an incline. Again, to make it even harder than the normal one, do that half rep. So again, you go down, halfway up, back down, all the way up. Again, make sure hands aren't directly underneath the shoulders. They're in line, but just outside. And you come to this position. Okay? From there, we're going to do a plank with a toe tap. So you've got elbows in line with shoulders. Tap the foot out. Six each side. Again, say this is your feet. I want tap, back in, tap. I don't want... Nice and quick, I want nice and slow. Okay, so that's it for that. Grab your weights that you're going to do the remaining deadlift with. I'm going to use my bag. Get a little bit of extra weight in there. Going in three, two, one. Let's go. So I'm looking for 12 reps and then hold it for 15 to 20 seconds. Eleven, twelve. Again, fifteen second hold. Again, make sure you're keeping the tension there. Don't just relax and let the bag fall or the weights. Then make sure the shoulders aren't rounded. Pin them back. Draw that belly button up towards the spine. And once you hold it for fifteen seconds, go down to that press up. Again, choose the press up variation that's good for you. And go. Again, we're looking for 10 reps, but again, if you can do eight or five, that's fine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Head. From there, we're going down to that plank position. Elbows in line with shoulders, tapping that foot out. Then six on one side, six on the other. Draw that belly button up, keep them hips level. And once you're on your reps, rest of that. 
Again, 45 seconds to a minute. Do that two more times round. Again, some of the exercises I like to keep in there, press-ups, best at-home chest exercise you can do. Better than that, probably one of the best chest exercises you can do even in the gym, all right? Okay, it's a full body movement. It takes a lot of strength and control to have to perform a proper push-up. Again, you start loading that with bands, chains, weights on your back, again, it is a good chest exercise to do. You can bench as much as you want, but again, a press up is going to show your true strength. If you can hold that body in line, move down in a nice motion and back up, again, you'll get better results from that. When you're ready, we're going to go back around again. So grab your bag, go in three, two, one, let's go. Go in for 12 reps. Twelve and on that twelve one. Hold it. Fifteen to twenty seconds. Again, keep that tension there. Feel it in the hamstrings. Don't drop them knees forward. Keep them pushed back. Hips back again. You should be sort of aiming them hips back towards the wall. Three, two, one. Back goes down, into that press up. Again, add that half rep. If you can do five with one and a half reps, that's absolutely fine. When you're ready, let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the quads. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, good. Right, down into the plank position, elbows and arms, shoulders, send the legs back, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the core, step it out. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Again, rest of that. 45 seconds to a minute. We'll do that one more time. Again, if we have enough time at the end, we're going to do a finish here. We're going to use the resistance bands, the mini ones. At this rate, we'll probably have time. Got about 30 seconds left on the rest. Okay, I'm just gonna get my weights ready to go again. Again, you can use whichever weight you want. You can make it heavier. Again, you grab resistance bands. Just to say you can't hold it there. Doesn't mean you can't do the reps with the resistance band. Let go of the resistance band and just hold this position here. Again, use whatever you've got in your home. Okay, going in three, two, one, let's go. So again, we're looking for 12 reps on that 12th one, 15 to 20 second hold. Nine, 10, 11, hold it. Good, keep it going. Come on, keep going, you got five seconds. Three, two, one. Back goes down into that press up position. Do the variation that's good for you. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine. Nine's there, that's good for me. Four would have started to go. Again, elbows in line with shoulders. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the core. Step out. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Okay, and rest you there. Again, if you have these resistance bands, put them on now. Again, I'm gonna go for a heavier one, I'm just gonna use this. I'm gonna put it just above my knees. Again, if you haven't got the resistance band, that's absolutely fine, you can still do this. It just may not be as effective. So, lay it down on your back, into a glute bridge position. Whether you've got the band on or not, we're gonna go 30 pulses, so yeah, make sure the knees never come back together. They should only go back to hip width apart. Out. 30 of them, 30 glute bridges. And then you go 30 pulses at the top. Again, never let your knees come back together. Okay, when you're ready, go in three, two, one. Let's go. So again, 30 pulses. Again, 30 seems like a lot again. It's going to burn out the gl uh, glutes just to finish. I was going to say glutes and quads at the same time. Good, keep going. Burn them quads, I feel it. Burn them quads. Burn them glutes burning. Okay, once you have 30, 30 glute bridges. Get my glutes are already on fire. Good, keep going. Again, keep them toes pulling up, drive that weight through the heels. Again, once you have 30 glute bridges, do 30 pulses at the top. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Keep the glutes squeezed. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 30. Good work, everyone. Again, if you've done it with the band, it's going to guarantee your glutes are burning right now. Got a little bit of a pump on, as people call it. In case you start feeling all that blood, all that nutri all them nutrients that rushing to them working muscles. Again, you're also going to build up some lactic acid as well doing that. So again, you're also going to try and get rid of some of that byproduct. So again, that's that burning sensation as well. So again, when you're ready, let's go down into that cool down. So you're going to feel on top of the knee. I'm just going to stretch out again. Just pull it into that position where you can feel it stretching. No further. Again, I hope everyone enjoyed the session today. And swap sides. Again, I want to keep it as interesting as possible, but again, I don't want to overcomplicate by just giving loads of random exercises, changing it every week, because again, a good program is just the one that's done consistently. From there, down to our side. Stretch out the quads. We're going to bring our top leg over. Hold it with the bottom arm. Top arm holds the bottom leg. So again, what I mean by that is, if you're doing squats, Romanian deadlifts, lunges, things like that, can you keep them standard? Change the accessory work. So maybe some of that glute stuff added at the end of the session. Change that up. Swap sides. Bring that top leg over, hold it with your bottom arm, top arm holds the bottom leg. Again, gyms are opening up on the 25th of this month. So again, if you have any questions on any sort of programming, anything like that, again, please just give me a message. I'm happy to help. Okay, from there, we're going to go on to our Knees, drop the hips back towards the ankles. Walk the hands out, drop the armpits and the elbows down towards the floor. And drop that head as well, so you feel it stretching in the lats. Good, 
Okay, from there, we're going to go split stance position. Again, squeeze the glutes, raise the hands up, lean over and back. And swap sides. Again, squeeze the glutes, raise the hands up, lean over and back. Last stretch. Onto your knees, we can go standing. Hands together, just lift them up. Stretch out the chest. And finish there. Just a little bit of information to finish with. Again, a little goal for anyone that's listening. Go for about 10,000 steps a day. Even when you do an exercise like this, still try and get in about 10,000 steps a day. I know a lot of people have fitness watches that track their calories and things like that, but again, as I've mentioned in previous videos, they can be out sometimes by up to 50%. So again, don't use calories as a way to re reward yourself for eating. If that makes sense. So again, go for a, go for a step count, go for 10,000 a day. That's going to be much more accurate on these fitness trackers. Again, a diet should always take into account your physical activity anyway, your work. So again, whether you're a laborer, because obviously if you're a laborer, you're going to need a lot more calories than someone that works in an office. Again, your diet, if you're not losing weight, then somewhere you may be saying you're eating too much. Maybe you're not counting enough calories. So again, food labels can be, up, can be off by up to 20%, if I remember rightly. So again, it might be that you're consuming too many calories, but you're counting it. But again, they're just misleading, okay? So again, if you're not losing any weight, then you're consuming more calories than you're burning. So again, simply you just need to either work more or eat less. And the same again, if you're trying to gain weight and you're not, again, you need to eat some more. So again, the principles are the same. You can't get away from that. So again, if you're not losing any weight, again, you just need to change some, you need to work harder, or again, you need to decrease what you're eating. And the same goes if you're trying to gain weight. So that's it for me today. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, anything I said at the end there, or any of the exercise section, please let me know. If not, that's it for me today, and I'll be back again on Wednesday for circuit training. See you then.